Previously, we've come from Bundy, we came across Queensland to Cameron's Corner, out through Strizlecki, across the Nullarbor, then right the way around the WA coast, then up through the Pilbara, up through the Kimberley, made our way up to Darwin. We come back down and we find ourselves starting at Mataranka. And now we've just walked down through this lovely forest to the Mataranka Hot Spring. And basically, yeah, it's kind of they made it man made, but this is 30 odd degrees apparently, so this should be nice. Nice little morning dip after our free camp last night with the girls. And they've headed off in a different direction, so it's just us again. So we're coming down the Savannah Way, we're oh no, 100 k's north of Lorella Springs. We pulled up for the night, we're about to have the serious Uno tournament where Grub's going to get smashed. Me and Mum are going to gang up on it with all the draw fours. No. We've camped here near a little billabong. So this is, hopefully we're far enough away to be crockwise. It's got that croc feel about it, but no, nah, we'll be right. Me and Julianne will be right. We're in the rooftop tent, but I wouldn't want to be the kid in the sushi roll down here. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. But no, it didn't really record much today. There wasn't much to do. It was just kind of a bit of a boring old dirt road transport stage today. Yeah, so all's good in the hood. So this is Butterfly Falls. A few minutes down the road from where we were camping last night, which is nice. A little waterfall in over there. A little birdies. Nice little spot for a dip. It's cold water, but so I don't know who's going to be game. Are you going in for a swim, Grub? So we're all set up here. There's a Grub's bed. Here's a little camper at Lorella Springs. There's a little warm pool just down here. This place is fantastic. Apparently, everyone's been telling us, oh, it's so crowded. There was 900 people there last night. It's a million acre homestead, and there's just four drive tracks and places to camp and lagoons and billabongs and walking trails and shit everywhere. It's brilliant this is just the main campground near the homestead itself and it's brilliant it's um i don't know 25 bucks a night for an adult and once you've stayed three nights it goes down to 20 and once you stay a week it gets cheaper you could easily spend a week or two here it's fantastic and like just my kind of place see when you check in they say to you um oh you know million acres i give you a map of it and they say oh and if you see a nice spot camp there none of it's national park enjoy like that's my kind of living so here's the little thermal pool, Leone's walking over the bridge looking all lovely and like, again right next to where we're camping We haven't seen Kaylee for about two hours, she's borrowed a push bike off the back of the car, she's made some friends, she's running around We just went for a walk over the back over there and she's on a canoe going oh hey you're allowed to use these so There's canoes at all the creeks and stuff that you just use and put back when you're done but Yeah that's just like a nice oh, semi warm bath, it's just beautiful yeah. And uh, yeah, no, this is a cracking place, man. I'm really impressed with it. We'll definitely come back here. Communal fire area, they say. They have a fire each night, come down and have a happy hour with them. Encourage get togethers. So, again, just down near the lagoon. Yeah, no, this place is brilliant. And then there's the homestead itself, great big bar area. They sell beers and beer again, your basics. They haven't, they're not doing meals at the moment because they're understaffed and overcrowded, um, which, fair enough, because everywhere up here is the same. With no backpackers, yeah, and like they're having a hard time getting supplies too because the road in's a bit gnarly. But, um, and with no backpackers, yeah, getting stuff everywhere we've been has just been a mission. But yeah, no, this place is brilliant. Yes, yeah, so there's the homestead, even with all these people here, it doesn't feel crowded. It's quite good, and they've got a crocodile in this pool here. It was here earlier, I wonder where he is now. Oh, there he is. He's just hanging out, being a crocodile. Yeah, well, put your fingers in there, old girl. Thanks. This is a cool bar stool made out of jerry cans and old wheels. I like how you gotta make what you gotta make out here in the bush. <laughs> this place is awesome. Yeah, right the way around here. Yeah. See, like, so I went for a squatty, we were like, oh sweet, a pool for the kids, but it's got a crocodile in it. And they've got chooks cruising around here, and there's a little sign in there saying, oh, any of your veggie scraps and stuff, bring them in, bring, give them, give them, turn them into the office, and then they can, um, oh wow, there's a great big turkey up there. Yeah, bring the office so they can use them to feed their turkeys and chooks and guinea fowl and stuff. No, this place is excellent. Hey Riley, we like it a lot. If, you're, if your car could make it here, you should come here for a holiday, but you probably have to borrow mine. Here we go, do you like it here, Grub? Yep. Thought you said it sucked. Yeah, she's on fire here. She's made a heap of mates. She's swimming. She was just on a kayak. Down there is a big pile of push bikes. One of them's ours, where she's um, her and all her hoodlum BMX friends are all hanging out. So yeah, no, she's having a good old time. I was doing it and I thought I said it was a crocodile, but it was a log. Awesome. 
All right, so we're doing a bit of four-wheel driving today at Lorella Springs. We're heading down to the water slide and to Nanny's Retreat. Put it down the map. Yeah, down there's the map they give you. And then this is the sort of track you got to go through, which is good. I suppose I should put the four-wheel drive in, just in case. What do you reckon, Grubbs? Is this scary? Kaylee's made a heap of friends here and they've all told her what's going on, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> this is the fun little walk you got to do. How you go? How are you enjoying the walk in your heavies, darling? She's enjoying it lots. Mm. I just had to delete some swear words because she's got her best rock climbing heavies on. Obvious. Yeah, we've all just got our thongs oh. on. But yeah, this is the thing. It's this old girl who's like 70 camping here. said, oh, just follow the pink ribbons and takes it for the water slide. So. This better be bloody good. There's the grub monkey having a crack on the water slide. She's asking every kid a million questions. Here she goes. Was that fun? Is it cold? There's grub going over the jump. Got a bit of roadworks going on here in Lorella Springs. And look, some poor bastard's gone and rolled their scraper. That kind of sucks. That'll take a bit of uh, turning back up the right way again. Bloody hell. Jesus. Unless it's buggered and they've just finished with it so that's how they uh, recycle. And this is the Nudie Hot Spring. Apparently the water comes out here at 50 degrees. Is it really hot grub? Yep. Hey Paris and Riley and Taylor and Steve. All right, we're going to have time to have a dip. So we find ourselves this morning at the Hell's Gate Roadhouse. There's a fair few campers here, a few already started to take off. And we're the first time we've had phone signal in days. So here's Grub Monkey in here with her iPad, thinking that life's good because she can look at stupid things on her iPad. Smile, Grub Monkey. Smile, smile, smile. Come on, say hello to everyone. Give me a little what about Jace. What about Jace? He's a good cat. No, he's a bad cat. <gasps> And here's okay. mum looking beautiful. Okay. She loves it when I put the camera on her first thing in the morning. So yeah, this is the Hell's Gate Road. Yeah, so we made a little bit of a beeline into Queensland. That's our final border crossing. Thank Christ for that. No more of that nonsense to worry about. And now we're just going to decide which way we want to head back to Bundaberg because everyone we speak to tells us that all the good stuff is book solid because everywhere's just packed. So hurry up and go away COVID so that other people can go on cruises into Bali again so we can start enjoying the Aussie bush. And that's it for us. This is our last camp out. We've just packed up. Grubbed in the back, reading the phone. Mum's excited because she didn't get a coffee this morning. We all just did a quick overnight here, just in the side of the road one. Where are we? We're near Claremont. So we haven't videoed the last couple of days because there's been nothing, just driving down the highway. And uh, yeah, so that's our very last camp out. All done and dusted. Yeah. We're about 700 k's from home. And that's it one little adventure over and done with. So the last few days has been pretty boring, we haven't filmed a lot yet, so when we came out of Hell's Gate and we have across the border, we've just come down to Julia Creek, across the Charters Towers and made our way down to Emerald, out to Rocky, back home, to Bundy. So our whole trip was that. Again, we couldn't do New South Wales and Victoria due to COVID restrictions and yeah, we managed to dodge it. We, we did well, considering the amount of restrictions and the amount of crowds. We were considering going across the top of Queensland and coming home that way, but everywhere we went up here was just packed full of people, so we decided to um, just make our way to home and then get that kid back to school a few days earlier and that. So now we're back at home. The old hounds are happy to see us. The Datsun's putrid, and the fun starts with giving everything a bath. So that's us back here in beautiful Moor Park Beach. Yep, everything's going on the clothesline already. It's, uh, yeah, all systems go here this morning. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed our videos.